Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Aziza. I'm reading today for the sign of Sagittarius for love and relationship for the month of July 2022. You might turn your back, you know, on someone that you love already. And you say, that's it. I'm done with this person. And this person, like, you know, doing the same thing to you. Okay. But in the same time, I get here that you still want this person to come back to you. You might be smart with him or her. He or she is really being smart with you, too. And I get here in between, they are and decided back and forth. You block each other. You want to walk away. You feel like, no, that's it. I'm done with this person. I'm not really gonna go to them. You still want them to come back to you. I see that fear on you. So you're not walking away yet. And I get here that, you know, this person is being careful about their marriage. They might be married to someone else. There is a third party here. This person is having an affair with you. And I get here, this person doesn't want to walk away from you also. But they keep yelling at you, being smart with you. They tell you like a no piece of their mind. There is a Taurus here. There is Aquarius also. There is a Cancer. Gemini. Sagittarius, another Sagittarius. This person is going to come back to you. They stick in your head some stuff and you become so emotional, so sensitive though. You become like, you know, oh my God, oh, this person hurt me, this person. There is a Leo person also. There is a cancer, we said that already. There is a lot of confusion. This person like, you know, that they see that you are, you get too emotional for him or her. Um, and they become so emotional for you too. Then they become like, you know, so sensitive about stuff and coming so close to you, confused. There is that, all of this thinking, they cannot really like, you know, stop thinking about you. They value you so much. Look at this. All of this fantasy and thinking about you and you are like taking all of this time, emotions, everything. Okay. When they come closer, they destroy it. They create a problem or an issue and they blame it on you that it's an issue with you. You did. You did. Some of them, like, you know, they are, like, you know, just thinking, uh, looking at you and trying to put that mess in your head to tell you, oh, I'm dealing with others. Others are better. I'm dealing with, like, if he is a male, he might say, I'm dealing with a lot of women, da da da, -da. Just for you to, to back off, they are being, this person is being smart with you, so they don't mean it, okay? And I guess here you get really so sensitive about stuff. You cannot stand like you know, the way this person is yelling or snapping at you. And that's it, you, you become like, you know, I'm moving on. Um, you have to understand your person because some of you like you know, have been with this person for two years, a year, five years ago or three years and it could be like you know, a relationship for a long time even longer than this you have to understand this person where they are coming from the way you they fight with you they talk to you you cannot every time he or she said something randomly because if it's a Taurus they talk before uh, without thinking they are just dashing into the unknown da -da -da -da. whatever comes in their mind that time you know on their mouth and they think that they did not do anything. So if you see that this person like not talking to you this way, it's every time either you walk away from them completely or you understand that this person, they are just like that. 
So if you want to resolve the issue between you two without fighting an argument, because I see the fighting and the argument here. If you want to be happy, you have to get to know your person that that's the way they are because argument and walking away and coming back and walking away, it's not going to get you anywhere because you're going to keep coming back. Look, you and him or her, okay? You are afraid to walk away. It's not your timing. It's not happening. You are not leaving each other. He or she will come back. You're going to come back. You say like, no, that's it. I'm done. But no, maybe I should like, you know, see somebody else. No. It's them. They believe in you, but you don't believe that this person love you. That's the problem and the issue. You think that they look at you like you know, in a bad way. No, it's not. They don't. You think that they do that, but it's not really the truth. But I get here sometimes when you are alerted with something, you ask questions. You become like, you know, hey, why? Da -da -da -da. And they, t they give you a peace of mind. If you don't really want to know the answer and you are sensitive to it, don't ask the question. Don't be smart with this person. Keep on going being happy. Why do you care what's surrounding you? Enjoy your time together. They are holding on you and someone else in the same time, they won't let go any one of you. So that's the other person in their life. They could be married, okay? They disappoint you very much. But they say like, you know, maybe it's not the right timing. You keep hurting with that person and this person is hurting also. Like, you, know, you say something sometimes to him or her, it bothers them. They don't want to progress, but it says you're lucky. Lucky, no matter what you did, you said, this person will keep coming to you. You feel like no, this person is not ever going to commit to you because it's not really progressing, it's not going anywhere. You want to go on a trip with this person also, but you don't know when this person is coming around, huh? Hmm. When this person can get away from the other person. You want this person to divorce the other person also and be with you. You are holding on this man or woman, grabbing on them in a way that you are mine. <laughs> Which is good. This person can be angry with you, but in the same time protective over you. See how they are angry with you, but protective over you. They think you are negative sometimes because you don't understand them, but they are the one who's doing the bad things all the time anyway. <laughs> he or she is still really like you know, waiting on you to say something, to say something, hello to them, talk to them. They don't want any stress because I get here they are stressed out about their marriage anyway. And I get here that they feel like you know, maybe you're going to say hello, but you don't really do the effort that they want you to do. Um, the relationship is going to go on. Is going to be really good. I get here a great, a great start, like, you know, with good intention. You have, a, uh, like, you know, a good news also at work. It could be really money or extra money coming to you. Um, you feel like, you know, you want to walk away from the job you, uh, uh, that you are working with this person. Maybe you are working together. You want to walk away. You want to do something different. But I'm not really getting that you will. Yeah. Hmm. It's not your timing, like I said. You want to get married, you want to have kids, you want this person to be really like, you know, just not treating you bad. You want this person to give you more attention, you want to go out with them. They want to go out with you too. The attraction is really very strong. This person is really in love with you. They want to be with you, but the other person might really finish their business money situation is really it's really bad you're gonna be happy again this person is coming back like you no know, anytime soon also and i guess here is just really a misunderstanding between you two unblock this person if you block them they are coming back to you 
And if he or she did, they are going to unblock you. But they say something to you sometimes and you understand it in a different way. Like, you know, they say sometimes like, you know, when you, wanna, you want to be with, with a person, why a person commit to another person? Because it's really mental. It's not in the, in the body only and I look good or I have some makeup on or I'm wearing like a you know, really mini skirt or something like that. No, it's in the mental, the way you understand each other, the way you click mentally on each other. It sounds here like you know, that you don't really think the same. Sometimes maybe some stuff, but you understand it in a different way when they talk. They understand you in a different way also. That's why. The mental have to click. That's really the thing. When, when you meet a person like you know, from the first minute and you say something, they look at you and say, oh my God, it did click. I, I like this person because you said a word that he wasn't even thinking about. It's not even specifically, it has to be a certain uh, word. Um, but everything is meant to be anyway. Dear Sagittarius, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And if you need a private reading, please contact me. And the link for my website is below this video, mysticalaziza.com. Please click on reading prices, purchase your reading, then give me a call, and the phone number is listed on my website. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.